Tinder is not meant for 99% of men. 99% of men are not successful on Tinder or any dating apps for that matter. Most guys swipe on pretty much every woman hoping to get a match. And I just feel like Tinder is just unfair as hell. This is all very weird reality. Men need to stay away from dating apps at all costs. They'll put fake profiles of very attractive, usually women, right? Because men are, are actually more likely to use dating apps. Men's egos are gonna be completely deflated. Generic, unrealistic, and bareth of anything useful is how you can categorize most dating app guides. Combine that with the disheartening reality of being a man on these dating apps and I imagine you're just about done with the entire concept altogether. With the ratio of 3 to 1 men to women, most men wouldn't find a match in the most ideal scenario, and to make matters worse, 80% of men are usually competing for the bottom 20% of women, bringing in that 3 to 1 ratio I mentioned earlier, and making it an appalling 15 to 1. The reply rate of text is almost just as low, and even if you manage to get a reply, it likely won't lead to a date. To put it simply, most men are losing time to these dating apps while gaining no value in return. With all that being said, you might ask yourself, why even bother? However, before you give up, consider the meaning and causes of these statistics. You see, there are two distinct reactions that these numbers provoke in men. The first, a common reaction, condemns the app itself calling it shallow and solely focused on appearance. But let's dispel a myth here. Looks aren't shallow. They often mirror a person's identity, health, and life journey. I understand that there may be a vehement dissent towards such an idea, but please hear me out in this video for I will explain in a way that will change your mind. The second reaction, which I suspect you're more inclined towards since you're watching this video, is one of action and understanding. Those who choose this path realize that changing the odds is the only path forward. People who react this way understand that they are not some weak, helpless child and that they are completely capable of competing. So let's get into why these statistics are so lopsided and what you can do about it. To begin, we have to discuss the basics of ELO, a numeric value hidden from view but a potent force in dating apps. This number isn't visible, but it certainly exists. Dating apps like Bumble have openly admitted to this, and if you've ever seen the female point of view on Tinder, you'll find 80% of the first visible profiles will all be men that are 6 feet or taller. While Tinder may state ELO doesn't exist in her app anymore, it certainly does. ELO's existence serves a singular purpose. Profit. These apps thrive by attracting users and enticing them to pay by making desirable profiles seem abundant by placing them in the forefront of the swiping pile. Imagine if women only found 1 in every 1,000 male profiles attractive. The female user base would dwindle to nothing and soon the male user base would follow. Most dating apps, especially the prominent ones, factor your spending habits into your ELO ranking. Invest in their high subscription and your ELO will soar propelling you ahead of those 6 foot tall gentlemen. To emphasize the potency of these premium options, I conducted a little experiment. On Bumble with the most basic premium purchase and two boosts, my matches increased from a mere 2 to 4 in 24 hours to an impressive 12 in 6 hours. Premium Tinder, however, held an even more enticing effect. After acquiring Tinder Platinum, their most opulent option, along with two boosts, my matches surged from 8 in 3 days to an astonishing 100 to 250 in the same time frame. The reason why this is so effective is quite simple. Only 5% of users invest in the premium options on these dating apps, and these dating apps value these users who quite literally pay their bills dearly, elevating them above the remaining 95% who don't invest in the premium options. Now, don't jump to buy these premium subscriptions just yet because there's so much more useful information in this video that you should try out before buying premium, and also, there are a few words of caution I must give you. Auto renewal of subscriptions may yield unfavorable results. After your initial purchase, your spending seems to matter much less in your ELO ranking when auto renewal is active. Instead, consider canceling the subscription and renewing it manually when the time comes or commence anew with a fresh subscription on a new account. Be careful when using this second option because constantly making new accounts has been reported to result in shadow banning. Even if you decide to boost your ELO ranking through spending, that only puts you ahead of the curve. While visibility may be the main problem that most of you are facing, the second challenge lies in discerning the nature of what women find attractive. If your profile is no longer in obscurity, yet you still fall short of 100 matches, you might be thinking that A, you're hideous, or B, I'm secretly sponsored by Tinder, but the reality is there is another issue you are facing, and that is your appearance. Appearances do matter, and this extends to your style. You see, an experiment was conducted where multiple pairs of women swiped on Tinder, and one of the most common reasons for a left swipe was style. In the words of the esteemed epistemologist Roland Barthes, fashion is a language conveying your essence and values. 
For those of you that strongly believe that looks are shallow, consider how you'd be viewed if one of your friends showed up to your wedding in a Nike tech and sweats. Looks in this case are so important that your friend's choice of clothing is a reflection in which others would judge your friend and yourself. So take time to understand your face shape, body type, and how your height influences your choice of colors and outfits. Color coordination is key to crafting appealing combinations. If you're short, sticking to one color can make you appear taller as the human mind makes less divisions when observing your body when you do this. You can also use the same strategy when dressing your girlfriend as if you have highly contrasting tops and bottoms on your girlfriend, it can make her appear more curvaceous. Horizontal stripes on the chest and shoulders can draw emphasis to these regions, making them appear bigger. There's plenty more tips I can give you on style, but that's for another video. If you lack an impressive physique or vast wealth, you can somewhat compete through style and grooming. Style, however, cannot shine without proper photography. According to psychologist Jessica Carbino, a high quality photo that's clear, well lit, and highlights your smile can increase right swipes by 14%. Avoid selfies, as these garner negative reactions from female users 96% of the time. Instead, use photos taken by other people, preferably photos that really paint a good picture as to who you are. In these photos, confidence is your ally. Embrace open and confident confident postures for they not only make your profile more attractive but also double the odds of you getting a yes from your date as suggested by John Archer's dominance theory. Also, beware of group photos that confuse rather than convey social proof. Group photos should convey your sociability and connection. A rooftop gathering photo would certainly be a cleaner and easier to understand photo than a dainty bar photo which has too much going on. This doesn't mean be exotic. No skydiving or helicopter photos or exotic animals. In fact, the only animal that should be in your profile picture is dogs. Seriously though, in a study, it showed that 100% of positive reactions towards animal photos were to dog photos. Now let's discuss your bio. First, consider including your Instagram handle if they boast a healthy follower to following ratio. It can be an asset in aiding and skipping the app and streamlining match prioritization. Now let's get into the core of your bio. There is no such thing as trying too hard, but less is often more, so there is a little bit of truth to not putting too much in your bio. Keep it light and engaging, and if humor flows naturally, include it. If not, a simple placeholder like putting your ethnicities or your favorite curse word can suffice until you think of a better bio. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all approach to bios, but the word fuck is undoubtedly the best placeholder. With your profile polished, let's navigate the realm of optimal selection and settings. As previously discussed, ELO is a vital factor. Think of ELO as a currency and you spend that currency to right swipe. You can maintain your overall ELO by having a balance of left swipes mixed in with your right swipes. Avoid mindlessly swiping right which rapidly dissipates your ELO currency. Tinder is however an exception to this rule as Tinder is significantly less affected by this allowing you to literally auto clicker through every single profile with nearly no adverse effects to your ELO but other apps function differently. If you can't afford to constantly boost your ELO with your wallet you must be 10 to 30% pickier than you normally are. Both quality and quantity are important here so you must find a balance. Now when it comes to settings, don't be confined by others' judgments. Traveling to neighboring cities or states is a viable option. Disregard naysayers, for statistics show they often miss the mark and have little ability to attract what they want in the dating world. That is of course if they manage to have a sex life in the first place. Prioritize yourself and find a balance that works for you. Set your age range thoughtfully. Keep the youngest at 18 as a study suggests women often seek men that are 5 to 15 years older. Embrace this insight and disregard the baseless ego-driven claims that you're some kind of predator taking advantage of quote, undeveloped brains. Neuroplasticity can continue for someone's entire life and it is not a sign of immaturity. Do not let unfounded judgments guide your choices. If wisdom was a parameter needed to determine if a potential partner is mature enough to date, then you would never find one because wisdom is a lifelong pursuit. Furthermore, men naturally desire younger women, making the perfect yin and yang relationship between male and female desires. Next is texting. Understand that there is no magic trick to texting. Texting is unpredictable. Tailor your text to reflect the persona you have in your profile. Keep the energy fun yet controlled, making it easy for her to respond. Remember, she has numerous options on this app, so if you make it too hard for her to reply, she's probably not going to. Voice notes are a great way to make text engaging, but not all dating apps allow voice notes, which is why it is important for you to get her off the app as soon as possible. Try to transition from the app to a phone call whenever possible, as it reduces the likelihood of flakiness. If you can, video calls are significantly better than phone calls, as they allow you to have somewhat of a virtual date before you actually meet up. To recap, you must first understand ELO and make all attempts to boost it, especially by taking advantage of premium options. The biggest problem most of you face is the visibility of your profile. Next is profile improvement through style, grooming, bio, and most importantly, photography. Then your settings must be optimal. 
Don't limit your range due to others' judgments of how far you're willing to go to enjoy your romantic life. Set the lowest age to 18 and don't bother swiping a woman older than you and in many cases it may be beneficial to even set the cap 2 to 5 years below your own age. Finally, as for text, your goal is to get the girl's attention and then move off the app as soon as possible so you can set up a phone call and or a date. These tips have been tested on what I consider to be the three best dating apps and they are Tinder, Bumble, and Facebook Dating in that order. Tinder is great because Tinder Platinum truly lives up to its expectations, so much so that the app requires little to no work once the profile is set up. Simply optimize your profile, buy Tinder Platinum, buy a boost once a month, and combine it with the free monthly boost Tinder Platinum gives you after you buy a 6 month subscription, turn on an auto clicker, and walk away. Come back in 2 hours and turn it off, and in the next 3 days, you'll get a lot of matches. So many matches that I actually recommend you turn off your notifications. Next on this list is Bumble. Very similar to Tinder, however, the auto clicker method isn't as effective, so it does require more effort. However, Bumble does have the least amount of bots and a plethora of attractive women. Bumble also allows you to set advanced filters, allowing you to look for for specific types of women. So if you have Princess Jasmine syndrome like I do, you can set the religion to Hindu and swipe through Indian women until you run out. You also get to send voice notes and set up video calls which gives you the ability to essentially have the first date virtually and for free. The final plus size to Bumble and the biggest plus size is that ladies message first. Since they message first, it reduces the amount of time you spend messaging women who swiped on you solely for attention. Finally is Facebook dating which I don't doubt surprised a lot of you. Facebook dating unfortunately does not allow you to boost ELO with your wallet as far as I know. However, it is quite literally better hinged without premiums. There are more attractive women per capita on the app and you get unlimited swipes and you can message every profile before swiping on them and you get to send voice notes. I've met beautiful Indian women on all three of these apps so they all get the Princess Jasmine Syndrome stamp of approval. That is all for this dating app guide. Some of these things will take some time to understand, but that's okay because as I always say, practice does make perfect, so don't get upset if things don't work out the first time, and until next time, peace.